Hey, this is Rock Goddess with Sonic Access. I'm here with uh, legendary Disturbed members, John and Mike. How are you guys doing? Good, thanks. Great. Fine. Cool. Good. Um, I know you're just a few days into the tour. What's the crowd reaction been so far? So far it's been really amazing. The crowd, the crowd's been great. We're pretty captain. We put together a really great package with uh, lots of offer besides uh, ourselves. You know, really great brand bands, uh, some tattoo artists. I uh, haven't been able to do the motocross yet, but hopefully that will come up pretty soon. Uh, it's, it's, been, it's been pretty cool, so. Good, so everything's going really well? So far, so good. Okay, great, so not tired out yet. No, we're just no. getting started. Yeah, we're just getting started. We've got a lot of uh, different uh, ideas that we're bringing to the tour this time, and uh, it was great, you know, this early in the tour, we could tell that a lot of those ideas are working. You know, yeah. and it's stuff that we've never really done before. We're, you know, pushing ourselves to go to that next level, and uh, it feels like uh, the audience and our fans are responding. As yes, to start with all these you're famous for that, great. Uh, well, this is the fourth installment of uh, Disturbed Team Music as a Weapon Tour, correct? Um, for the few out there who still <laughs> might not be familiar with it, can you explain the philosophy behind it? Well, Music as a Weapon, it's uh, it's our chance to bring together um, some great bands. Uh, you're mixing some metal and you're mixing some rock, and you're just trying try to put together the best package possible. Absolutely. Absolutely. Trying to give, you know, especially in, in modern times, I mean, with the economy being so bad, we're trying to give everybody uh, their money's worth. You know, when you come, we like to, know, we like to know that, uh, we like to think that our fans know that whenever we come through and they come to see us play, that we're going to give them everything we have. And with something like this, you know, we put together a great package of, you know, you got Kill Switch out of here, Lacuna, um, Chimera. Um, for today, just because of the size constraints, we actually have a second stage that comes out with us. Uh, unfortunately, in Denver, we weren't able to do it because of size limitations. In Jordan, yeah. 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 But we have a second stage that comes out with us, and we have bands like Suicide Silence, and Spine Shake, and Born of Osiris, and, and, and a couple other ones. Uh, like I said, also with tattoo artists, and uh, we have uh, a lot of vendors that are out there, like uh, Affliction, uh, Samsung, Sprint. I mean, we have a lot of people on board. It's it's like it, music as a weapon. This this time around has really graduated into uh, a whole new level. It's its, its own festival. Right. It had yeah. It has become a festival. There. Yeah. Exactly. That was that was going to bring me to a, to another point. We'll, we'll get to that in just a, a second. Um, on a personal note, uh, you know, to start, your music just really speaks to people on such a deep level. Uh, it makes them think. It helps them uh, work out their day to day frustrations. They channel those headaches into a positive direction. How does that make you guys feel to have that much of an impact on your fans' daily lives? It's got to be great. It's 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 pretty surreal. I mean, uh, you know, when we when we write write music, we, number one, we first write for ourselves, and it you know, but when we write, we write things about real life, real life experiences. It's not made up things. It's I think that's what's what, why our fans are able to connect with us so well. You know, everyone everyone most people have experienced things that we write write about. And it's, it's meant to be cathartic, and it's meant to, to help you purge your demons, and it's meant to make you feel stronger, you know, give you some kind of release. Empowerment. Empowerment. Absolutely. Take, take out your frustrations in the pit, don't take them outside. That's yeah. exactly it. Yeah, that's amazing. That's really great. Um, now, I know you guys are highly involved with the American troops serving in Iraq and Afghanistan. Thank you so much for that, by the way. That's, that's amazing work. Um, well, the troops around the world, for that matter, not just in the war zones. Uh, do you have any plans to visit Kuwait again anytime soon? I know that you had gone over. There's nothing really on the calendar right now, but you know we've always got uh, the door open mm -hmm. uh, for those opportunities to come up. Um, in fact, you know the the album Indestructible, the title track, is a song written uh, about the troops and them having the power to be indestructible uh, when they go into battle and they have to do the missions and um, put themselves harm's way and we've been told you know over the years we've had plenty of troops come up to us and say how our music has helped them get through those tough times it gets them uh, fired up before they, they go out on a mission and we took a lot of what we felt that they were telling us and, and put it into this record and uh, it was an honor for us to, to go over there we were over there uh, last year during Operation MySpace we did a performance for the troops uh, in Kuwait uh, who were going into Iraq and would definitely be happy to, to do that again. Okay. I'm sure they would just be thrilled to have you. I'm a former uh, Army veteran myself, uh, Army Gulf One, so you have no, it, it's an incredible work you did. It, it was so an amazing, amazing experience for us to go over there and really 
not, not that we weren't shot at and we weren't in necessarily harm's way, but living on the base for three or four days and, and being in the middle of the desert and experiencing just a little piece of what all the soldiers do over there exactly. really opens up your eyes and, and to, especially to the sacrifices that they, they you know make just so people like ourselves can, can live you know happy uh, normal lives behind our white picket fences so we owe a lot to them and any chance we get whether it's going overseas uh, into a, a hot zone to try and perform for them, or even as we're out on the road here on tour, any, any chance we get to stop at just a, a base and, and swing by for wow. a meet or something, we do that quite often as wow. well. Wow, great! I, mean, I had no idea. That's oh yeah, we do right. plenty of signings at bases, and you know, even beyond that, even if we don't make it out to the bases during our show, you know, we had moments where we have tributes to the soldiers, and we remind the people who are there who are there enjoying this concert here mm -hmm. and, and enjoying themselves, that there are others who are sacrificing so that we can enjoy. Like I said, thank you so much. Thank you for the trip. So it's, it's a really wonderful thing to We thank them. Yeah. I, mean, I, do, I do as well. It's, it's valuable work. Um, now, uh, back to uh, some of your albums, some of your other work. Get back to some fun stuff. Uh, you released your fourth album, Indestructible, uh, in June of 08. It was your third consecutive number one debut, so that's got to feel just great. Uh, looking back over the past few months, is there anything that you would have done differently with the uh, Indestructible? In general, we're pretty pleased with uh, with the results. We are we spent a lot of time uh, working on the record, uh, writing the material. Uh, this is also the first record we ever self-produced, uh, and we were really confident and, and happy with uh, with the music when we released it. We, we wouldn't put it out if we weren't happy with it. So, you know, just the fact that everyone else uh, digs it too is is very cool. I mean, we're Definitely really excited about the way things are going. It's phenomenal. 